NBC. If we could just talk about Ellie. He had a private phone line installed in his office. Turn your camera off. I think the president knows about it, too. Okay, Secretary of the Treasury resigns because of a mistress named Ellie. Okay, okay! If she knows, how long can it be before CNN or the Post breaks the story? Mr. President, I'm not interested in using Ellie to further my career. What do you know about Ellie? Congratulations. You now have the biggest story in history. A few minutes ago, the United States ambassadors to every country in the world told the leaders of those nations what I'm about to tell you. Shh. Last summer, two comets were discovered that are on a collision course with Earth. Oh my God. The smaller comet will hit first. We now have the details. Creating a tidal wave over 3,000 feet high. The larger comet is the size of New York City, 500 billion tons. If it can't be stopped, all life on Earth will perish. So for the past eight months, the United States and Russia have been building the largest spaceship ever constructed, the Messiah. This is the crew that will stop the comets. We all hope for the best, but we've prepared for the worst. To ensure our way of life goes on, a network of immense caves has been constructed. We're going to hold a national lottery. We can put a million people in them for two years. It is our new Noah's Ark. If you marry me, I can get you into the Ark so you can live. No men and women over 50 will be included in the lottery. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be happy as long as I know you're going to live. To have and to hold. If the world does go on. To love and to cherish. It might not go on for everyone. To lift and part. Be good. Be good. Good luck to us all. We have to go. We have one helicopter to pull seven people. The big one's coming up fast. You're going to die if you stay here. We need the arming code for the last four nukes. Come on! We've lost picture. Messiah, this is Houston. Come on, Messiah. How's my time? It's taking too long. We got jammed up at 75 feet. We're losing one. Time! Get the hell out of there! Oh If we could just talk about Ellie. Yeah, it's me again, man. On the next episode oh, of D Talk, we're going to talk about the Deep Impact Connection with what's really going to happen in real life on the next D Talk. I'm a Jew, he a Jew, she a Jew, we some Jews. Wouldn't you like to be a Jew, too? Only if you're in the bloodline. Alright, alright, what up, what up, what up, it's your boy O to the D to the AKA, just call me Knowledge, but uh, for all of y'all that have seen Deep Impact before, Deep Impact in my opinion is letting people know how the end is going to play out with the comet and them telling us right before it hit the earth and they've been knowing for the longest and I believe that this is what's really going to happen when the end comes. It talks about it in the Bible, about a, a star, fireball coming out the sky. It talks about the uh, end this time being in fire. It talks about it talks about all these things dealing with fire. You know, and if a meteor hit the earth, it's going to leave a lot of fire. So with that being the case, in point, is is. It's like it really, it really talks about what's going to happen and how it's going to go down. It just depends on what side of that boat you're going to be on. 
And then Steven Spielberg is like one of those people who are the inside. They get the inside information. Insiders, you know what I'm saying? He know the globalists. He didn't talk to them. The globalists know what's going on. They know that it's going to end just like Deep Impact. You got a black president. Obama's black. It's not no. It's not a. It's not a coincidence. They knew this was going to happen because that's why they. That's why they let Obama get to be president right now. You know, they, 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 the Lord knew it was going to pan out like this, and they knew they was going to pan it out like this, you know. So they chose Steven Spielberg to make the movie a certain way he did, and it's really depicting real life what's going to happen in the future. This lets you know how much they really care about you. And this goes to show you how dumb some Americans really are, because they can put it right there in the, in the, in a film that everybody go pay all their money to go see, and they still sit back and don't know what's gonna happen in the end. It's gonna happen the same way Deep Impact happened. So the way New York went up, all them places, that's how it's happening, man. And then you gotta add in the uh, the uh, uh, Yellowstone is a big volcano. We ain't added up when that erupted. We just left that out the picture. So the point is. For those of you who have seen Deep Impact, that's how it's going to end, I promise you. That's a globalist letting you know what they know, and there is something that's going to hit this planet eventually. And for those who haven't seen Deep Impact, you need to see it because it really depicts what's going to happen in the end. I mean, that's about all I can say, but it's really, really, really serious. Watch Deep Impact. See how your future gonna pan out. See who you believe in. Cause you run with the most high before it hit and you ain't gotta worry about death. Or you can wait till the end and when it hit you can be running with that fake guy that's really killing you. That's really the devil. But that's all I gotta talk to you about. If you watch Deep Impact, that's what's gonna happen. DTV out. <laughs> Crazy crew entertainment, man. Crew die videos, and ain't nothing after that. You dig, you beezies.